Hi, so this is going to be a quick walkthrough of setting up a GitHub Pages and how to work with it from your desktop, even if you want to work with uh, a text editor like Brackets. So the first step is to set up your GitHub account, and I've already got mine set up. And then you're going to go to the repositories and go and create a new repository. What's important here is you have to use your username first. So I would put jacobrifkin.github.io, and then I can give it an optional description. And then the next step is it's important I initialize this repository with the readme. And it's going to create a new repository, but this one will be linked to a pages site that I can then access um, from the internet that's hosted on GitHub. Um, with this program, I should download the desktop app, the GitHub app, um, and so that way I can access my and upload my files via my home computer. And so once I have that set up, I will it'll ask me to connect to my account, which I do, and all of my repositories will appear there. I will then choose to clone the repository of my GitHub.io to my desktop. Um, and then I would choose a folder where I would want to save it. And so for our class, we've been using our www server online. Um, and so we'll be moving our files from the www server, or if you're hosting them on your laptop, we'll be able to copy and paste those directly into this new folder. So I have my folder set up here, and I'm gonna go and make a new, new window and navigate to my www page where I have it on my own computer, copy those files and paste them or drag them into this new folder. And what will happen is GitHub will ask me if I want to, uh, if I want to, it'll show me that there are uh, now changes inside the repository. And if I want to commit them to the actual GitHub page online, I have to write a short description where it says summary required. Um, and usually you should make it something about what the changes you just made. So this is my first initial upload of the site. And I go commit to master. And it will compile those files into one. And then I have the option to push to the origin. And what this means is it's going to push all of those changes that I just made to my repository that's hosted online. And depending on how many files you're added, this will either go quicker or, or slow, more quick or more slow. Um, and this is going a little bit slower just because there were a lot of files inside there. And so now, if I navigate back to GitHub and refresh the page, we'll be able to see all of those files that I just uploaded into there. And my website will be hosted at my username.github.io. And one thing that you'll notice is that those changes that you just made don't appear automatically. So there's actually a bit of delay in this video where it took about a minute or so for these pages to be updated. And um, now I can see the exact setup that I had inside my folder structure um, is now available on the um, site. And so what's really great is I have opened up this folder. Um, and you can see that here with the jacobrifkin.github.io directly into brackets, um, which is my preferred text editor. And so what happens is anytime I make a change inside this file, those will then be reflected in the desktop app where I'll have to commit those changes, and then I can push them to my online page. So here I'm going to go in and just change um, the background color to black and then change the font colors to white. Um, and you'll see right now it'll pop up. Let's give me a little bit of thing. And since my font was black, I've got to go back and change it to white. Let's change that. And I'm going to Command S. I've changed my H1 tag as well, my header tag. And that's now appearing. And if I go back in, I'll see that there, my style sheet has now said um, I'm changing one file. So I'm going to commit it to the master, and then I push to the origin, or I push to the repository online. And again, this would take a minute or two to update. 
And so here, even if I change in one page here, and I make one change in another page. So if I'm making changes across multiple pages, so here I'm adding in another link on my index.html page to one of the projects uh, that we've demoed inside class, inside the class. It will ask you inside the GitHub desktop app to include the summary for these changes. Um, and that's required and it'll say so right inside the little box back in the GitHub area. And you'll see me type this in in a minute. So I had to go back and save this, it wasn't saved. And so now you'll see summary required and I, my commit to master won't be highlighted until I write something inside this page, inside this text box. And it's good to be as descriptive as possible. And I'm gonna to push to the origin and I will go look back at my page on the repository. And here again, it doesn't update immediately, although on this page it is showing you it's updated immediately. So if I go in and I make a change inside my directly into the repository online. So here you can edit your files directly on the repository. And you'll see I'm gonna change the hover uh, interaction to be yellow when it's the cursor is on top of an A tag and I can commit the changes here. So if I go back to the desktop app, say this is the first time you're starting for the day, starting to do some code. What you then wanna do is First, I'm just checking here to see if this is actually, there it is, all right. So everything's working, but you see the yellow hasn't updated yet. So there is that bit of delay inside there. And so now I'm gonna go back into um, GitHub and you'll see that I can fetch the origin. I can fetch from the repository. And since I've made a change there, it's gonna give me this notice that says, hey, pull one commit from the master. And so even though I made that change online to yellow, and here on my desktop, it was pink. It's now changed inside my desktop files inside that GitHub folder. Um, so you really have the ability to go back and forth. You can work from anywhere. Um, and it's really a great, remember there is that in seeing your changes being updated immediately. I hope this was helpful for those starting out with GitHub pages. Um, and let me know if you have any questions.